Welcome to an Invocultus Conduits of the Void gameplay video featuring members of the team. Tonight we'll be playing in the Occult Research Facility with a modifier Data Link. Andrew, explain what Data Link is for the people watching at home. Alright, during gameplay, we will go around the table and each of us will have six turns. At the end of that, each of us takes two of the cards that we won't be using in our five card poker hands and passing them to the left. There's a lot of strategy there. You could think about what cards people have already picked up and try and give them something they might not need. Yeah, you probably don't want to give them something that they've been trying to get the whole game. So it's good to keep an eye on what everyone is doing as we play. Let us begin. You want to be the conduit of the void after I want to be the conduit. I want to be a conduit. I would like to be the conduit. Uh, I'm asking nicely. Well, so I guess we'll see who gets the, the favor of the old gods. All right, so at the beginning of the game, give us the setup, Andrew. All right, to start, everyone gets three cards for their hand. So we'll go ahead and deal those out. Now from here, the first player, you can determine who goes first by uh, whatever means you like. I like to see whose birthday is the creepiest, and then they can go first. I think that Jessica, though, has the creepiest profile Steam picture here, so... Let's go with that. I think she should go first. Yeah. Woohoo! I will go gladly first. go first. Give right. me this opportunity. So, Jessica, now she's going to pull the top card off the deck and flip it into the explored area. I don't want that three. You don't I'm want that three. Pick up a card there and end my turn. Yeah. Alright, so, so it's my turn. We are on round one. Let me pick on the ticker. Alright, so it's a three of Eldritch Crystals. I will use my seven of Eldritch Daggers to keep it in flavor here. Uh, and I'll take that and I'll draw my card. And now it's Andrew's turn. Yep, we always draw a card at the end of our turn. To pick up a card, uh, you have to discard another card that is of equal or higher value. So in this case, I'm going to discard my 10 to pick up the 7, 7 of diamonds or Eldritch Crystals if be thematic. Uh, and uh, I'm going to draw a card. Always draw a card at the end of your turn. So that is round one. Round two. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Oh, this is awful. I can't. I... Hmm. All right. I can't. I'm just going to pick up a card and move on. It's my turn. I'm trying to figure out if I want that queen or not. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't want the queen either. So I'm going to take a card. And now it's Jessica's turn. So that queen is now dead. So a full round has gone by. No one was. No one took that card. When it gets back to the person who revealed that card, that card is now dead. It goes into the discard pile. Mm. Or it's essentially expired, not necessarily dead. I'm going to give up this nine. Take this eight, draw a card, and my turn. All right. There's nothing currently there, so I'm going to explore. Mm, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to use my Jack of Hearts. Take that ten. Draw a card, and I am good to go. Okay. I'm going to flip. Four of Hearts. I have no interest in that card. Yeah, I want it. I'm gonna give up the six. Take four. Take my card. Duh. All right. Oh, we're now on round three. Exploring. Hmm. Can't take it. So that's my turn. Okay. Uh, do I want it? Not that much. Um, let me draw a card. Okay. Okay. Well. Round I four. Don't yeah, I don't want it. And I, ex I revealed that card. That card is now expired because nobody wanted it. A new card will be revealed for exploration. Five. Uh, 
that's... Uh, I don't want it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, did you draw? No. Wait, oh. did I? Yeah, I did draw. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna... Do I want it? I don't want it. Wait, this is hard, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. I also don't want it, so I'm just gonna draw a card. Very unpopular. Alright. Round five. Card is not dead. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> don't want it. Drawing. I'll take it. Discard Percival. this guy. Percy will. Six. And draw. It's Jessica's turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> nope. Done. Okay, and then Sal's turn. Start of the sixth round. Yes. Uh, yeah. I will match it. I'll take it. Oh, that's scary. And I'll draw. I know what he's going for. Huh. I don't like it. I don't like it either. <laughs> I'm gonna flip. Uh huh. Hmm. I'm gonna keep him where he is. Yeah, I can't take that either. That's it. All right. Now, uh, since we have our uh, now we have to location effect. So uh, before we discard down to our poker hands, we need to pass two cards to the player on our left. So again, okay. we're thinking about cards that uh, been paying attention, seeing what uh, might not help them, or what you think might not help them. Hmm. Dang it. Ugh. All right, there's your two cards, Andrew. Okay, mm -hmm. there's Jessica's. What you got for me, Jessica? Give me something good. <laughs> Here's one card. Hold on. Oh, uh, Sal. Here's what another card. <laughs> Whoops. All right, Sal, here's your two cards. Take them. All right, let's see, see what you gave me. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this. All right. All right. Uh, so we're just starting down to, down to five, five, right? Yes. Oh my god. I'm so mad right now. Ah, this sucks. <laughs> All right. I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. It's a gamble, but we'll see. Oh, crap. Let's get used to these cards. All right, are we ready? Yep. Okay. All right, so now the cards go on the table. We get ready to reveal our spell configurations. In Vokultas. In Vokultas. In Vokultas. I got a Oh, no. Well, I only have two pairs, so. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you get? Is that a flush? Or a straight. straight? Full house beats a straight. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, since I won as the house, that means that the gateway opens widely. Let me read that okay, flavor text. And, yeah. The eyes of the conduit roll into the backs of their heads, quite literally. 
their body sways in the air, and as it does, limb after limb spill forth from it. As eye sockets reveal vast, dark tunnels, they must scream but have no mouth, for that too is now an endless corridor. Every orifice multiplies and grows. Their cranium swells, taking the form of a grotesque sponge of flesh and bone, every gaping opening bearing a portal to the void. And in each hole, something is racing to emerge. So now, since now we've got to find out what that something is, so I'm going to flip a card. If it's a number card, then uh, each monster has an associated with it. We'll see what we get. It's a six. So monster number six is the Mind Devourer. Oh, Ooh. no. I've never actually played with this one, but this is a fun one because I get to listen to what they have to say. The yeah. Mind Devourer. When the hive mind was manifesting, their flesh was replaced by the mind devourer. Nasty. Okay, here we go. Right. The conduit so, is um, revealed, but nothing seems to happen. Back on board your ship, however, things take a turn. It starts with an itch and a scratch. You all assume the configuration did nothing, when the conduit abruptly doubles over, clutching their head in pain. To your disbelief, their body suddenly gets sucked up into their head, which promptly tumbles to the floor. As it rolls, you notice it starts splitting open, revealing rows upon rows of teeth of all shapes and sizes. Tentacles sprout forth from where their neck used to be, thrashing about as it lunges for you all. The gaping maw opens, allowing you to witness the impossible depths of ravenous teeth for the next meal, unless you can stop it. So, so I've got the uh, ability called Munch. By the end of the sixth round, everyone will have nine cards. Before the survivors discard down to their five cards at the end of the game, I get to force one of them to discard five cards at random. So this is one of the monsters where, while you're playing, you kind of want to be a bit coy about what you might be looking for and what you have in your hand. Because it sounds like you have a good hand, then I'm probably going to pick you. But we're not done. We have to see what else springs forth from the void. In addition to having a monster ability, the monster gets an Eldritch Enchantment. Let's see. Monster gets a four spades, which means that they get... Each survivor must discard one card on each of their turns before drawing, regardless of whether or not they picked up a flipped card on the table. So this is a particularly uh, tough one for the survivors. It is. It's what this means is every turn, you have to discard a card. If you end up discarding a card while you're exploring, like if you want to pick up a card, then you fulfill the requirement, you're fine. But if you end up passing, you still have to discard a card. All right, one of you guys, go ahead and draw a card and we'll see what your dark gift is. Go for it, let's go. Five of spades. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, uh, force the Eldritch Monstrosity, that'd be me to discard a random card a total of three times to the end of the sixth round, but only once per round. Nice. So okay. I guess we're both duking it out here. All right. And everybody gets three cards. Andrew goes first because he's the monster. Andrew is the mind devourer. Manifested instead of the hive mind. Which is actually kind of good because the hive mind in and of itself is pretty nasty if it does remain. All right, so now... I go first, let's flip a card, and then uh, you guys should pick one of you to keep track of when to make me discard, because otherwise people tend to forget. All right, four, I'm gonna take it. Discard this, I'm gonna take that, and I'm going to draw a card. Oh, draw a card, there we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. A nine? Wow. Wow. Okay. Um. <sighs> sure. I'll take it. Oh. No. I'm trying to rotate. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Now remember, you have to discard a card every turn. 
Oh yeah. Okay, that's round two. Or this is now round two. Yes. Uh, the jack. I do not want the jack. Uh, take a card, and that is it. Huh. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. I should also note you'll you'll you're you'll draw back up to nine if you end up with less than nine cards at the end. Hmm. Right. I'll beat it with this. So I've, I've met my obligation of discarding a card because I That's discarded right. a card to beat that. And I am essentially safe from losing an extra card. Right. Should we force him to get rid of something? I think so. Okay. You choose one. Me? Alright, yeah. I get to blindly choose a monster, I mean a card from the monster. And force them to discard it. See how it is. All right. So now I have two of three remaining uses of that ability mm -hmm. for round six. Uh, it is now round three, correct? Yep. All right. All right. I'm gonna flip a card. Eight. I don't want the eight. I'm gonna draw a card. And now it is Jessica's turn. <laughs> Exploring. I'll take it. Using my six of diamonds and drawing my card. I. It's my turn, Andrew. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna flip. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want that card. Then I'm gonna draw, and that's the end of my turn. And I'm gonna I say like I want to use my enchantment thingy, right, and I'm gonna do this. Oh, hey, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a chance. To do, this is fine, but give me a chance to shuffle. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> the game giveth, the game taketh away. Ah, uh, Jessica, it's your turn. <laughs> That's true, I should let you shuffle. Mm. But I would have been keeping an eye on that ace, let me tell you. I don't uh, uh, Nothing? I don't want I don't want it, but I have to discard something, so this. Okay. Alright, I will Oh you, you... What? You're, I thought you were gonna take it. Never mind, I'll take it. Alright, I'll take it, and I'll draw on a card. Oh my god, this is trash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Flip. Nine of diamonds. Uh, no. Oh, this is now run five. We have one of three uses remaining on our ability, by the way. I know. Ugh. Keep a close eye on those cards. Alright, just gets your turn. Are you taking it? Can you? On to. I do. You. What is it? It's a nine of diamonds. A nine? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll give up this nine to take that nine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, exploring. Oh. Um. Damn. Sure, I guess I'll do that. And it is round six. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna 
flip. Is it Jack? Nah. I'm gonna stay there. And then draw a card. Also, quick note, the Eldritch Enchantment, where it's forcing us to discard cards, it's not doing that to Andrew, because of course he is the monster. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, Jessica, will you take that card? Nah. Nah, okay. And then I need to discard. Okay, sure. I will... I will beat it. King, Jack, card, and that is the end. Are you gonna make six round? I'm gonna make yes. this card. You already shuffled Jessica. You pick it. I chose the last time. This one. Oof. All right. Uh, now monster gets to dr uh, get up to get back up to nine cards. If anyone has less than nine cards in their hand. Yeah, we do it in order. So Andrew, you first. Okay. Uh, all right. I got six cards, so I draw three more. That's okay. Good. All right, I'm good. All right, I've got eight, so I just need one more. Ah. All right, so now we're gonna discard down to five cards uh, to wait, make a hand. But oh. first, I get to munch someone. Someone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a big bite out of uh, Sal's hand. So I'm gonna take five cards at random. Chomp, 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 chomp. Wait, five cards. There should be. Yeah, three. that's the fifth card. That's the fifth, fifth card. card. Yeah. Alright. So now you pick a card from the. Draw a card. I might change it to four. That way, you can keep five cards. But uh, yeah, draw an extra card so you can you have a poker hand. And now uh, you got. Now Jessica would. Uh, now we. Jessica discards down to her uh, poker hand, and you guys decide who's the champion. Fuck. So Sal doesn't get to draw up to nine again. Nope. No. Okay. You're discarding? Yep, I gotta Damn. discard down to my poker hand. I think you should uh, be the challenger. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> How many cards do I have to give her for the champion? Uh, you put two down and then you uh, you make the pool uh, six. Rule as as the rules are written now, but I'm gonna. I think I have another idea. I want to test it. But she picks any cards from you, doesn't she? She, no, she? she draws two. She just draws two? Yeah. So these get shuffled, correct? Right. Alright. Yep, that's my hand. And then I draw two. Oh yeah, you're supposed to discard down before you choose who's the champion. Oh. What about Jessica, anyways? Yeah, garbage. Well. Dang. Really that bad? I, yeah, I would have had a much better hand if I hadn't discarded what I just discarded. <laughs> if it wasn't for those meddling Andrews. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Alright. <coughs> so these are dead, right? These are done? So I got nothing, so... Alright, All right, ready? Invocultas! 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 Alright, I got, uh... Full oh my again. god! I got super lucky, though. These two aces came from the three cards I drew to get back up to nine. <laughs> I had lucky. a, I had a, you know, to be fair, I had a straight, which is like average. It's not bad, but dang, that was, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. All right. All right, everybody. That is our first gameplay reveal. Uh, Andrew, any notes for people watching? Just want to remind everyone, 
we are still finding the mechanics. There are several changes that I've made note of over the course of playing this game. So yeah, but that's the core mechanic of exploring, building your poker hands. There's We have 10 different Eldritch Monstrosities. We have quite a few different modifiers, depending on what cards you draw as the survivors or as the monster. So the second half of the game, it gets uh, pretty crazy sometimes. There's lots of different possibilities. Um, yeah, but uh, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, have a great day. <laughs> In the deepest, darkest recesses of our known universe, a wealth of ancient knowledge has been discovered. However, the crew of the Clairvoyant has gone missing. The occult research facility lays silent, and on an eldritch planet far from our own, the forbidden ruins themselves await. Choose one of these and possibly more locations for your expedition, which may prove to be your last. It will be up to you and your team of deep space occult researchers to scavenge what eldritch components you can to acquire the ultimate knowledge that we've been seeking at any cost. Which among you will become the conduit of the void? What form of eldritch horror, what monstrosity will you call forth? All will be revealed in Invocultas, Conduits of the Void, coming soon to a tabletop near you. Rated R.